Ginger Baker seems like quite a difficult man to make a film about. Um, <laughs> at what point did you realize you were gonna sort of become a character in the film to draw out his story? Well, I think when he broke my nose with the cane, I, I thought, uh, well, this might be uh, somewhat poignant. <laughs> but even beyond that, when you ask a lot of questions, you pull out and you're sort of talking together, it seems. Yeah, I mean, look, I, there's, maybe there have been people like myself before uh, who have come uh, his way, such as his son or... Um, uh, at what point? I didn't really ever want to be in the movie because I thought about it like a straightforward you know, autobiographical documentary about Ginger Baker. Um, I thought it was funny that he was yelling at me and basically, you know, punching me eight times for every answer. But um, when he hit me in the face with a cane, I thought, okay, well, we can justify all this. And, and on top of it, it, it was it was incredibly, uh, it just seemed to make sense as far as his uh, pattern of life went. And, um, I don't know, so it's a hard guy to get in with. I, 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 I find myself feeling very, uh, I don't know, I, 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 re I relate to him a lot, and I, I love him dearly. I spoke to him last week. Um, which is a hard thing, because you know, loving someone who hits you in the face with a cane is obviously, uh, and trying, but, uh, the best, right? I I don't know if he. I don't think he loves anybody, but I you know I do know that he loves um, his uh, his ethos, and he isn't compromised at all. I think that's something that we all should aspire to. What you know, look at a time. Look, I compromise on a daily basis. I'm 30 years old, and I would imagine most everybody here in this audience does. Um, it's part of being human. He doesn't. Uh, and I like that about him, and I, I uh, revere that about him. You know, someone who's uncompromising. What is it? What, what happens when you're 75 years old and you haven't compromised your entire life? You end up like him. What happens if you're the greatest at something you are and you're an uncompromising? Or is that why you turn out to be the greatest because you haven't compromised? I, you know, he isn't compromised musically, and he isn't compromised as a human being either. And, you know, it's a double-edged sword, obviously. So, you know, you gotta look at it in many different perspectives. Thanks.